What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Breezy bringing you a video today. I know it's kind of late. It's 10 p.m. right now, but I was busy all day. I couldn't bring you a video. But today they did release a update for this game, 2.3 gig, and it is bringing out their contracts, and then and they just updated the weekly one, the, the one with 75 wins. That's what I'm going for right now. Hopefully, I can at least reach third place or first place. It doesn't matter, Three for all. but we're going to get into this. I don't know what gun I'm using. I'm probably gonna use the Man of War. That's how I haven't used this any of these a lot of my weapons recently. I just used two. In all honesty. If it moves, kill it. Oh. Aim is atrocious. My aim is atrocious there. Okay, he got me. <sighs> what I don't like about these maps or people in free fall at all is that they camp corners. Like, it's a fast paced team. Why are you camping? That's what I still want to know. Enforcer slain. I didn't see anybody there. Profit kill. How did that gun just beat me from that far? What? He's already knowing that he's gonna die anyways. I'm telling you, they fucked up this game so bad. It was fine in the beginning, but now it's just not the same. Somebody's apparently behind me. Hostile care package overhead. Hostile oh, I shouldn't have jumped up there. Uh. Oh, why is that weapon so good? Like, it, all it is is a three verse sub, but it hits so hard. Like, that doesn't make any sense. Profit KIA. Like, be advised, hostile target down. I think we're trying to hide from me a little bit there. Throw that that way, nobody. Profit down. Oh, I did that to my own self. Mission post ready. Oh. Oh, the Fomaz? In my sight. Profit KIA. In the lead, let's go. Let's get it. You know what? Let's let's, let's have a little topic. This how about this E3. Like E3 today kind of blew my mind, and I didn't really watch the PC or the PS4. If it did give, I just like I said, I was busy, but. Like, Xbox definitely blew my mind with all the stuff. Like, the new Xbox One, I understand that it's probably still going to be the same thing. They just added, like, 
maybe four new features or so but still like it it looked absolutely amazing i really Hostile do like down. the design of it i like the fact UAV above. it comes with a two terabyte hard drive already built into it like it, it's amazing to me and and the new customizable controllers yes it is pricey it is 80 dollars and 10 dollars more to uh get your game attack like engraved in it but still, like it, in all honesty the, the thing to me like it was good and then the thing is is the game that they're bringing out like they finally showed a little bit more of scale bound which is what i really wanted which was it was actually that's one of my games one of the games i'm actually looking forward to then they then they show uh they showed off more final fantasy which is a big franchise that i really do love that i've been waiting for them to make new ones and not like just remakes profit wasted uh Guild Wars 4 kind of like brushed that franchise off because i stopped really thinking about it but i'm most likely gonna buy a new one uh ghost recon ghost recon definitely something i would get I always love the Ghost Recon series, and this, this, the new one looks so fantastic. Like I don't know how to explain it. Like they they look like they've done so much to it in such I think it was like a four four year span, five year span of the, from the new one. So I'm actually excited to see Fire how that's gonna down. turn out. I then didn't sign up I'm for this also we need to fight looking for for Titan. And in the in the trailer that they were showing us. Like, that, that right there was just so, I don't know. Like, that trailer made me personally be more excited for that game. And I understand that's down the road, I think about, what, five, maybe six months away. But I'm really excited for Titanfall 2. <laughs> and in all honesty, I did like the way xbox did e3 i do think they blew it away but i haven't again i haven't seen ps4 or pc stuff which i'm really excited for i'm honestly 100 percent excited i probably will go look it up tomorrow or if they didn't show it today and they're showing it tomorrow probably gonna see it tomorrow but overall i'm excited for this year's e3 i honestly think it is a uh, like they bringing out wonderful content like the new xbox apparently and the new ps4 i heard are doing 4k stuff now which is cool but i mean you can't really run it if you're not running anything 4k like if you don't have a 4k tv or a 4k monitor if they make those you you can't run the 4k so it's like that's pretty useless in a way but still i'm excited for it i'm excited to see how everything works out and be and we'll end up going down the road and seeing how if it's worth buying like I'm I'm thinking about getting the new Xbox but I mean I'm also looking for a job so it's like it's it's tough that's tough but alongside is just I honestly hope things just progressively get better throughout this whole gaming community like this whole I don't know like e3 so far started off with a bang to me and i'm excited for i wasn't really excited for dead rising for i'm not really into the dead rising series to me they got they get boring after a while in all honesty um that uh sea of what is it sea of the land i got where your pirates that looked very fun to play with your friends and all that it, it it's just phenomenal but I'm out, you guys. I'm leaving the video off on this match that I just joined. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, comment, and subscribe down in the bottom. I'm out.